Hi, I'm Ludic Sim, or you can call me actor if you prefer. And hello, my friends. How are you all doing? How are you all enjoying the new expansion pack? God, it's living. I. I love it. <laughs> okay, we will be talking about it uh, later because right now I am going to be showing you this family home I've built. Yes, I'm showing you another family home yet again. <laughs> Look, what can I say? I, I love family homes and I unfortunately can't do anything about it. <laughs> So let me get into my real door role for a moment because I have to describe uh, what what I what this house includes, you know. So um, so it's this two story, three bedroom, two and a half bathroom. The half bath uh, also has a, a separate like laundry room area. You'll see that in a second, um, and among those. Uh, we have an open kitchen, dining, living room area, which I love. And I think that's pretty much it as far as the basics of the house. My favorite part about this house is actually the family that lives in. And I know that sounds kind of weird because I know I didn't create a family. Like, I didn't actually create a family. I have created a family in my head though. Uh, like I always do, I think I've mentioned this in like a very old video, but I always have in mind a family or a sim while I'm building um, while I'm building a house. And for this one in particular, the backstory that I came up with for a uh, set family is very interesting and it, and I love how it's kinda it, it is kinda shown through the build and through the way I have furnished the build and how it looks in general. So let me get into it. While I was building this house, I had a family in mind that has two daughters that are like very close in age, they're not twins, I think they're like around 9 and 10 and they also have a toddler boy and this family used to live in a much bigger house in a wealthier area and for some reason that I haven't declared yet, um, let me know if you have any ideas, um, this family had to downsize. Now they're not like poor in any way shape or form they're still like well off but they are definitely um not as rich as the ones were now i try to represent that story in the house in the best way i could because this house is like it's more traditional, I guess. Um, it's not like very modern or anything. However, the inside does not match 100% the outside. And by that, I mean the new owners of this house have probably done some upgrades, especially in the bathrooms and the kitchen. I think they've also changed the floors. And I think they tried to match the newest regi residence to their older one, because I think their old house was very modern and like I said, like very big and it was like a very new construction. And this one on the other hand is not a new house, however, it's beautiful. And I also think one of the parents is uh, a, either an architect or an interior designer and they were probably responsible for the updates and upgrades uh, in the house. So basically I tried to make the bathrooms and the kitchen uh, kind of modern, uh, kind of like newer. I, I wanted to give that feel that they have been like updated. Now, because uh, I made one of the parents uh, like an interior designer, I guess, I wanted to do something a bit different as far as the like 
as far as the way I furnish the house, I don't want to do anything like basic or something that I have done in the past. So I went on a Pinterest spree and, and I found a bunch of pictures that showed the style I was trying to go for. So I think I did a pretty good job. Let me know if I did. <laughs> I love the uh, living room because I think it's the most like interesting room in my opinion. I try to mix colors, I don't really mix. Also, I made use of the platforms in the living room. I really love platforms. I want to try and experiment a little bit more with platforms in the future, but I think in this house I only use them in the um, living room and I think uh, in the patio areas, um, yeah, I didn't use foundation at all. Also, another thing I made in this house that I'm kind of proud of is the custom closet in the parents' bedroom. Now, I didn't do anything too difficult. I just used the tool mode to rotate um, some cells. So it gives that custom closet look, I guess. And I think it looks pretty great. Like I said, it's nothing like very special, but I did use the tool mod and I've been incorporating the tool mod more and more in my builds because let's be honest, you can create amazing things uh, with a tool mod. Like, as I've said in like a previous video, you can literally create furniture with a tool mod. I've seen people creating all those like gorgeous like things with the tool mod. So I think it's 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 like such a powerful and amazing tool. I mean, um, it, it does like take a bit to get used to the mechanics of it, but I feel like once you get used to it, then it's like pretty easy. And of course, uh, I will have the link to the tool mod and to the red self in the description as always. Now, um, I think that's all about this house. I don't know if I have anything else to add. Now, let's talk about cottage living. Oh my god, <laughs> I love it. I think it's like such a good pack. What do you think? I haven't bought it yet. I might get it soon. I don't know. I don't know. However, I have seen so many like builds and uh, people have been streaming uh, the pack and videos on YouTube and everything on like uh, on like my timeline on Twitter. It's just it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I love it here. I love that. I I'm so happy that the community is is like enjoying that pack so much. Uh, it makes me so happy and and yeah it's just it looks so cute i i love all those cottages people have made and like those farms and it just the animals oh my god can we talk about the animals for a second the bunnies wow the cows the lamb <laughs> oh my god it's 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 such a good pack um like I said, um, I was not planning uh, on getting that back like, like very soon. I was gonna wait for a sale, but I don't know. I might get it sooner because, let's be honest, it looks amazing. Um, I, I haven't looked at the world that much. Um, I, I do wanna, I do wanna see some videos uh, about the world. I know that it's not the biggest one, but it's also not the smallest one. I think it's like, as far as like its size, I think it's like a, a good medium, which is pretty great. Also, the update, ponds. Wow, okay. Last night I was uh, building another house and I finally used the um, pawns for the first time and I was very surprised when I saw that they gave us uh, the ducks and swans and all those um, animals for free um, in the base game. I thought that they were only available with cottage living but I saw them and I was so excited because I thought that I had to get the pack to 
have access to those objects but yeah i i built a pond for the first time it looked amazing uh, um you will see that build uh next week probably fingers crossed <laughs> and yeah expect a lot of ponds in my future builds because it's like a new feature whenever we get a new feature i just want to use it like in every single bit i made so so yeah i hope you won't get annoyed by my constant use of ponds now speaking of that pack and the possibility of me getting it i just realized that i'm going away in a few weeks i'm going on vacation and therefore, uh, I'm, even if I get the pack like now, I won't be able to enjoy it. I'm not gonna have like my PC with me, so it's gonna be a bit, a bit difficult to uh, play. Also, I have to pre-record a lot of videos for you guys. I mean, I'm not going away for like months, <laughs> but still, I have to pre-record some. Uh, I have to pre-record some videos. So I think I will have my laptop with me. I don't. I don't know if I, I don't know if I'll bring it with me. I think I will. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Still, I want to have like uh, some videos for you guys, and also I'm just really enjoying building at the moment. So let's just I'm just gonna take advantage of it and just make um, some and just make some builds again. So I think we're moving close to the end of the video. Please uh, do let me know uh, what you think of uh, Cottage Living, whether you got it, whether you not, um, your your opinions of uh, the pack, what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Also, if I do end up getting the pack, let me know what you want to see from me. I mean, I'm probably going to be making only cottages. <laughs> Maybe I can do some like farms or like farmhouses too. So yeah, I, I want your suggestions. I want your opinions. Now I'm gonna go now. As always, I have included sub screenshots at the end. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a like, leave me a comment with your ideas, suggestions, opinions, everything that you'd like to share with me. I love reading your comments. And and finally, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and builds from me and click that bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new one. So I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.